right good day to you guys so it is tuesday and we are back out again uh, we are currently on our way down to go and see um willie and then we're gonna, gonna go and do a little bit of shopping for the house uh, as well <clears throat> and then we're gonna go and see if we can uh, look up and try and get some um boat tickets for these uh off island uh, uh, day trips that we're gonna be doing uh, as well and then we're going to be going for a little bit of a walk on a different route uh, than we did yesterday. Um, see what we can get up to there. So yeah, all good, all good. And it's a beautiful day again, which is always a bonus. And uh, there's Mrs. A for you. Morning. I'm just trying to Ooh! navigate the traffic on the road at the minute. Yeah. Left hand side of the road, mate. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Sorry. So it's one of the things with the glass of silly. People don't tend to stick to the correct side of the road. So. Yeah. Not often anyway. For some strange reason. Psychics anyway. Are the worst. Right. So we're down at the uh Sally Car Cow, so let's uh go and see Willie. Right, okay then guys. So uh we're just leaving the Silly Car Co. Uh for like two minutes while we quickly do a quick test drive on the buggy. For that. <laughs> for, for Willie because somebody came back and said it was it was jerky uh, when they were driving along. So uh, we're going to check it out and see what uh, see what's wrong with it. So, so Jill has to drive it properly. So Jill has to drive it. I can't really drive these because the accelerator pedal is so it's such, such a weird angle. It's not my my ankle doesn't like it. So uh, yeah, so only because Jill has to drive these. Unfortunately, because I'd love to. But yeah, there we go. Right, let's uh, see what this test drive brings out. Okay, so report back on this buggy. Nothing wrong with it. Absolutely fine, it accelerates fine, brakes fine, there's no juddering. Tootles along fine. Tootles along fine, not a problem at all. So, not sure what that's about. We think maybe she's having a bit of a reach problem with regards to uh, yeah, the pedal and stuff. That's the only thing we can think of. So, right, let's take it back. All right then guys, so we are now in a different buggy. Uh, hey. This one is Willie's personal buggy. It's his old one. Well, his old one, yeah. Uh, his, other, his other personal one is a white, big, is a big white one now. But uh, yeah, yeah it's, that one is. He used to have this one. Yeah. Um, they did soup it up a little bit, and this is what he uses for like all the pickups when he has to go. If a car has broken down, he likes to trailer with this one. Yeah. Tow with this one, and then him and Uncle Mike got new ones where they're all um, covered in, so they can keep dry in the winter when it's raining, all this, that, and the other. Um. But he still keeps this one because this one is better for towing. So yeah. it's ideal for us. We couldn't have it last year when we came home. Yeah, the brakes were gone last year. It had no brakes. But no. what he'd forgotten to tell me is that he'd actually fix the brakes and we could have had this for the last couple of days. So yeah. So anyway, we're off into town now to go and get this shopping done. And then we'll see where we get to from there. All right then guys, so we've just got the shopping done for the day. Although we might need to pop down later on though because um Bumpy. Bumpy road. Uh, yeah. yeah. So we might need to pop back later on though because there are some uh, we didn't have any potatoes down there, so they might have them later on. Uh, we've got the boat tickets for all the trips that we want to do uh, for while we're here. Uh, we did ask. What are you doing? Just park up. Um, we did ask about uh, Bishop Rock, there's not a guarantee that it's going to be running, so we might not be able to do Bishop Rock, but hopefully we will be able to. Um, just dependent on weather, very much dependent on weather, so I have to wait and see on that one. Uh, we're just going to stop off for a coffee at Miller's. We'll get one. And um, then we'll see where we go from there. Alright, so that's the coffee acquired. We've got a cappuccino for Willie as well, so I'm going to take that back down to him. Coffee! Coffee! And uh, then we're going to take the shopping back to the house, and then... Are we? Are we? Are you tell me? I don't know, I'll ask Dad, see if we can leave it with him. Huh? See if we can leave it with Dad. Oh, okay. Alright, so we might be leaving the shopping with uh, Willie then. We'll have to wait and see. So, uh, and then from there on, we'll see where we go from there. Alright, okay then guys, so we're just leaving uh, City Carts now. And we are going to go and do our little bit of a walk. And then go and have lunch at uh, Carn Bean today. That's the plan. So yeah. So I'll take you on a little walk, show you some more of the uh, scenery and whatnot on the sites so of Silly, and then go from there.
Okay then guys, so we parked up. Sorry love. And then uh, now we're making our way up on our little walk. So yeah. And it's a lovely sunny day, so it makes it even better. There's no wind so far, which is good. There's a, li there's a little breeze. Tiny breeze, but not... But it might be just where we are at the current time of well, yeah. that we're not getting affected. Well, yeah. Currently it's pretty quiet, so wind-wise, which is a bonus. Right then. <laughs> so, vehicle coming, so... Right then. Oh, hello. Dogs. So that vehicle that just pulled up, uh, one of the uh, one of the kids in the car opened the door, dog bolted, and decided to run off a little bit. Apparently, it does it quite often. So yeah, lovely dog though. Yeah, she said normally bolts for about half an hour, um, but it was only about five minutes, so it was nice because we had a bit more of a chat. It was um, Natalie who did my eyebrows yesterday, so at least I knew her. It wasn't some random person. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, so yeah. Right then. Okay, let's continue the walk, shall we? Let's get on. All right then guys, so we are currently at uh, Deep Point is the name of the location we're currently at now. Uh, apparently, uh, so Mrs. A says, that she's not 100% sure, but uh, she thinks this was the point where um, scrap vehicles were... Got rid of. Got rid of. Essentially, just driven into the ocean. Got pushed. Got pushed or whatever. <laughs> so yeah. Right, so there's probably a shed load of cars at the bottom of this ocean right here. Maybe a couple of buses. A couple of buses as well. Maybe. Nice. But we'll confirm that, because we're not 100% sure. Yeah, so, yeah. But to be fair, it does look as though it's kind of like a good point. good point to do it at, to be fair. So I'll show you that now. So, from the point that we are now, which is maybe what, 800 yards from Deep Point, uh, on a really, really good clear day from here, you should be able to see the mainland from here. You wouldn't be able to see it on the camera, but... You can see the outline of it at least, but... Uh, but yeah, so you should be able to see the mainland. Of course, the mainland is only 28 miles from here, coast-wise. So, but it's not quite clear enough for that today. Quite hazy. A little bit hazy, unfortunately. So. Their end, not ours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit of foggy on their end, kind of hazy and stuff on their end. So, yeah. But yeah, it's quite interesting the fact that you could see the mainland from here. But uh, not today, unfortunately. guys so we're currently at uh palistry palistry beach which is just behind us over here there you go. and also just over here as well in the distance just over here is toll island which you can only access when sorry love which you can only access when the uh, tide is low okay because so, yeah. obviously you've got to get on and off before the tide obviously reaches in yeah otherwise you're swimming across <laughs> Yeah, that's quite bad currents actually that goes through it as well. So you'd be a swept away then, wouldn't you? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, so, yeah. 
get back over before the tide comes back. Yes. Otherwise, you'll be there swimming uh, if you're a strong swimmer. If you're not, you're getting swept away, so it's not a wise idea. Get stuck for the night. Yeah, or stuck for the night, yeah. <laughs> or rescued, which cost a bomb. So, don't want to be rescued by air sea rescue because that costs a hell of a lot for that to be called out. Huh? Lifeboat probably. Okay, yeah, lifeboat might do it, I suppose, yeah. True. But anyway, we're going to continue on. Alright then, guys, so we're now up at uh, Carnveen uh, to have a bit of lunch. Uh, I've ordered the ham plowmans and so has Jill as well. So we'll show you them when they, uh, when they come out. <laughs> Got a table here with a um, umbrella, so a nice bit of shade as well, which is always good. Cut my leg on the way up here as well. Quite badly, actually. Well, not, not badly, but, you know, it's. Stings a bit, put it that way. So yeah, caught on a brandy uh, bramble branch that caught me, chew and then whipped across my leg. So never mind. These things happen when I'm on, on the walks. So yeah. All right. Because of the heat as well, I'm actually both knackered now. So, but uh, yeah, Jill's just gone in to order the lunch and uh, should be out fairly soon, I think. All right, guys. So lunch has arrived and it looks good and you get a shitload. This is actually more than I thought. Love. Mm? It's a lot more than I thought. I know. Crikey. Right. Oh well, yeah, yeah. I mean it's 14.50 for what we've had each. So, you yeah, know, essentially 15 quid each essentially. Uh, yeah, so I'll show you now. So yeah, this is the uh, ham plowmans that we've actually ordered here. So ham and cheese. Oh, ham and cheese plowmans, sorry. So yeah, got ham, tomato, cheese, olives. Uh, we got um, cheddar, brie, and uh, Cornish yard. Cornish yard there, yeah. You get some bread with it as well. So, yeah. Looks really good. Looks really, really nice. I like everything on this plate except for the olives, which Jill's now going to nick off my plate because I can't stand them. So, yeah. Other than that, everything else is great. Right, time to tuck in. Okay, so just finished lunch. That was really, really nice. Really, really enjoyed that. Um, as you guys just saw from the clip there, we had a, a bird on the table which we managed to entice in with some bread. The birds around here on Silly are extremely used to um, people. So These ones here anyway, definitely. Especially the ones up here at Carnivine. Uh, it's also the same up at Juliet's as well, isn't it? They're quite tame up there as well, aren't they? Mm. Um, yeah, so and they, they will if you are patient long enough, they will come up and they'll physically take stuff out of your hand if you are patient enough. Um, it might take them a little while, but they do do it eventually. So yeah, which is quite cool. But then anyway, back to uh, back to lunch. Um, that was really, really nice. And I'm gonna give that personally a solid eight. Yeah. You, solid eight? Yeah. Yeah, Mrs. So, um, a. Just watching. Mrs. A agrees. So Mrs. A is just watching the birds. Oh God, there's a bunch of big one there. And as I say, they are uh, literally all over the place. So yeah, it's quite a big flock up here actually. So yeah, it's pretty cool to watch them. Right then, okay. Oh, there's one right next to you. Yeah, can you get it? There's one sitting right next to Jill on the bench just there. It might have moved actually. I think it might have moved. Damn it. Never mind. Anyway, right, time for us to get on the move, I think, as well. All right, guys, so we're actually back on our way uh, on the walk again. And uh, to get up to Carnveen, we took a hill to get up there because it's from the route that we were taking is the only way that you could get there from here. And that's the hill we had to climb up to get up to Carnveen and then up round uh, over, over this way uh, as well. So, yeah, but considering the fact that that lunch was really nice it's well worth the climb i thought so yeah good right let's continue on all right then guys so we just walked across Palistri beach right yeah Palistri beach and we've now gotta come off the beach up there where mrs a is walking up now so yeah let's get back onto the track that get back onto the track that we need to get back onto so let's go all right then guys so this is another view of um St. Martin's over there. Sorry? Yeah, a better view of St. Martin's over there. And then over here, those little islands there are the uninhabited eastern islands, of which you can actually uh, pay to take that route round. So, yeah. You can get on them. 
No, you can't go on the islands, but the boat can take you around them and then land on the, what is it? On St. Martin's, yeah. So, for the rest of the day, which is pretty cool. Yeah, but a little bit of a more close up view of the uh, St. Martin's Island there. Because we're on that side of the island now, so pretty good. All right, let's continue. Right, well it would appear Mrs. A managed to get herself stung by some stinging nettles. So should we just have to stop and grab some dot leaves so she can rub them on it? Right above my knee. Yeah, right above the knee, yeah. Just where my shorts rub as well, of course. Of course. So yeah, so we've just done that. Hopefully that'll appease the, the itch until we can get back and put something else on it. Yeah. So yeah, the joys of walking. In, in shorts an on an island in shorts overgrown oh, yeah overgrown island in shorts because yeah the path we just took is a little bit overgrown with nettles and all that sort of stuff so and i wasn't looking properly yes and she wasn't looking properly yes so anyway we're on our way back towards the uh the buggy now well back to the main road yeah to then walk back around to the buggy because obviously we've walked quite away from it yeah, in total, we're currently sitting around about the five kilometre mark. Hello. Last time we checked. Damn it, watch. Um, 5.24 kilometres so far. There we go. And we've got them finished. So, yeah. So, we don't want to go too far because otherwise we'll end up too far away from the buggy, otherwise. And then I'll have to get hold of my dad to say, Dad, can you come and get me so I can go get the buggy? <laughs> yeah. Right then, let's continue on. All right then, guys. So we just got back to the buggy. Feet are absolutely on fire now. Buddy. Although we're not having quite as bad a time as uh, a family that we saw. Unfortunately, this family of four, one of the bikes that they have got a puncture. Yeah. So that bike has been relegated to the father, who's now got to walk it from where were we? Uh, Carnveen. To Carnveen, basically, all the way down to the bike store, which is in town. town. That's a fair old distance. So. Yeah, so he's gonna have a lovely time. We would give him a lift, but we're gonna need a two-seater buggy, so we can't. Yeah, buggy's not big enough. Buggy's not big enough. But if we had a four-seater one, we could quite yeah. easily do that. Yeah. But, Get him yeah. on. Never mind. Oh. Hey, you never know. Okay, right. Now we're off to. I think we said we were gonna try Juliet's, didn't we? For yeah. tea and cake. Tea and cake. Yeah. So we're gonna go and pop down to Juliet's for some D and gig, yeah. and see how that is. And good views. And good good views, yeah. Right then, let's make so our way. Okay, so we're now up at uh, Juliet's Garden um, <clears throat> and uh, we decided to go for uh, ice cream uh, just because there's something that cools up a little bit and a couple of Diet Cokes uh, just, just to take the edge off the heat, you know what I mean? Because it is a bit warm today. It is 19 degrees. It's not too bad heat-wise, but yeah, we're walking around like we have been doing to just get a bit warm. So, but yeah, just sitting up here and going to enjoy some ice creams and enjoy the view, which I'll show you now. guys so this is the ice cream here which is uh, straight from uh, Troy Town Farm which is on St Agnes and it's, it's delivered over daily right? I was saying it's delivered whenever they need it okay so yeah so basically St Agnes will deliver the ice cream that they make over there to the St Mary's Island and any other islands that require it uh, as and when they need it sort of thing so yeah but it's really really nice ice cream so yeah really good so good <laughs> oh, yeah. Beautiful. Okay, that ice cream was very, very nice. 
you only ordered two scoops, but I'm pretty sure we had more, to be honest with you. But yeah. Especially more of the chocolate, because that was in the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Because that filled all the way down the cone. Yeah, there was definitely a lot more. It felt like a lot more chocolate in the cone anyway. But not by complaining, because it was very, very nice. Chocolate was very rich though, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Nice though, but nice, yeah, but very nice, but a rich chocolate. Nice, but very rich chocolate, yeah. So, right. Okay, back to the buggy. And then, what, it's to the chemist for some sun cream, because I've burnt my neck. Well, it looks like I'm slowly cooking, anyway, put it that way. Um, so, yeah. Oh. You've got to go and get that. And, uh, potatoes from the co op. Potatoes from the co op for tonight's dinner. And then. Basically, back to the house, isn't it? I think it is home. Yeah, and then back to the house, isn't it? Right. Let's get to the chemist. Okay, so we've got everything we needed to get. And now Mrs. A is now parking the buggy back up so we can charge it and use it again tomorrow. There you go, you'll get it. There we go. All parked up for the day. Alright then guys, so we're now back home and we are intending to just chill out for the rest of the day now. Not good. Because that was a long walk today. Yeah. yeah, long long walk. Good though, good though. Yeah. Um I think I've got a bit of sunburn on my back, on my back of my neck, and I'm, you can see, I'm going a bit red on my face. So yeah, catching the sun a little bit. He is a little bit getting a bit of colour. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. Legs are still chicken white though. Yeah. We won't show those. No, I won't show those now. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to chill out for us today. And that's the plane going overhead. Yeah. We're on the flight path today. So uh, yeah. I don't. Uh, tomorrow, it looks like we're going to be going out to one of the off islands tomorrow. I don't know which. Uh, which one would you say the crab shack was on? Briar. Briar. So possibly Briar, because we're going to, we want to check out the crab shack. We've not been there before. Oh, see if it's open. Yeah. We'll look into it tonight. Yeah, look into it tonight and check out. So, yeah. Right then. Uh, once again, all the uh, links to the restaurants and stuff we've been to today will be in the description for you guys. Okay. If we've got them. If we've got them, which we should do. It should, they should be fairly easy to find. And uh, yeah, like I said, we'll be back again tomorrow. If you like today's video, hit that thumbs up button. Okay, and uh, if you haven't already subscribed, then please do so. It would be greatly appreciated. And uh, if you do subscribe, ding dong that, that notification bell, and that will let you know each and every single time that we upload a new vlog for your faces. So yeah. And uh, in the meantime, guys, take care of yourselves. Bye. Bye.